Hi, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, test the um, get related records method that we've implemented here in Carboss, and um, I thought I'd uh, I'd um, record the session just uh, as a document, uh, so as a yeah documentation of the whole thing. Uh, on the wiki, um, we have um, a details ex detailed explanation of the of the new method, how it works, uh, parameters that it accepts, uh, all the different conditions, and um, thanks to this method, uh, we have a, an extended syntax, a query syntax, where we can uh, actually limit or uh, execute con queries against the REST database, no, against the database through the REST interface, uh, with restrictions to related modules. Okay, so um, the first thing we're going to do here is um, come over here to the Core, Core Boss Web Service Development interface. Uh, I have a, I've created already a script here, which you can load from the from the list. It's uh, the Get Related PHP. Um, I'll probably add some more. Uh, but this one is really powerful. It has a whole bunch of test cases here. Basically, the the idea is that we have to fill in the parameters array with uh, the session name, the operation, which is the get related records, the the method we want to test, uh, the main module ID, the what module it is, okay, the related module that we want to retrieve the records, okay. So, for example, if I want to retrieve all the documents of um, of a help desk, I would put here the ID of that help desk record, here the help desk, here the document module, and automatically most of the rest doesn't really uh, isn't really important, and we would get all the documents related to that help desk returned. Uh, we'll do some examples probably be clear. Uh, here we just send the post data into through the rest interface uh, we get information back and here we do a simple uh, bar dump to see the results just just kind of output what we get okay so um, exactly here we have a we have an example uh, I know that I have a help desk in the system which is over here Okay. Uh, this is kind of constructing on a previous video we did. Yeah, I have help desks. For example, I have trouble to get one, which is seventeen one one one, and it doesn't have any documents. I think. Okay. So if we come over here and. That 17111 help desk, and I ask for documents. And we execute that. I get no related records, but it was successful. Okay, I did get a success result, but there was no records because there's no document related. Uh, if we look at the services, there is a service related. So uh, we let's ask for services instead of uh, documents. Services, okay. Execute that. There you go. It has returned effectively that record that is related to help desk seventy one one one. Okay. So basically, the get related um, the get related records method rest interface method is uh, relatively simple it just uh, you just give it the idea of the record uh, what it is uh, what you want to you know what related entity you want to retrieve and it just gives it back to you then it gets really a little bit more complicated because of the different options that we have uh, for example if you want to limit the number of records returned if you want to page that if you want to order them uh, and especially it gets complicated with um, with products which has uh, a very uh, complex and rich relationship in the system uh, so uh, here in the, the test code I 
set up a bunch of different options so you can easily comment or just uh, get anyone and move it down so that it would be easier to to test for example uh, let's get this one with the quotes if I want to test the quotes on the products we could just kind of cut this out and, and bring it down here so all the previous assignments uh, would, would be ignored and here I would need a quote this probably won't work because uh, the numbers are wrong okay that's good uh, let's go find a quote in the system and while that's happening we also need to get the list types so we can find out what quote ID what quote rest ID well what rest ID quotes module has and then we'll pick up this quote which was quote 74 okay let's see if this comes in okay here it comes there we go okay so this quote has just one product let's find out here what quotes is quotes is four so we should be able to put here four seventy four and execute that to get product ID fourteen fifty seven with all the details of the quantity in the line okay so it has a uh, sequence one it's uh there's one unit at one hundred and thirty one unit at 130 perfect okay so uh, with uh, just changing the parameters here uh, I'm getting a list of the product lines in this quote okay uh, all the details and, and uh, of the parameters are, are documented here in the, in the wiki okay and they're related also to the ticket so it should be easy to find all, all the documentation and testing on here uh, but what's uh, really nice about this is that we've gone a little bit further and we've extended uh, the query language. So I can ask here for help desk. To get a list of all the help desks in the system. Okay, perfect, all the information here. But we can go and take that a little further and put a where condition here. I want to see the ones that are related to services and the service ID was <coughs> let's look for services okay services are 25 the service that we have in the system is service number 132 so we should be able to put here 25 132 just to get the trouble tickets related to that service and there it is Okay, so uh, this is uh, really powerful because now we can easily find a list of uh, invoices related to an account, uh, I don't know, um, or anything similar, um, even campaigns, uh, well campaigns, the relation is kind of difficult, but opportunities, uh, many, a lot of other things, and uh, uh, anyway, uh, there's a set of uh, examples here where we can get the comments, uh, the help desk, uh, the documents of an account, the products related to contacts. Um, well anyway, I think uh, you should get an idea of, uh, of how flexible that is right now. And uh, we use this extensively in the customer portal. So uh, it's mostly very tested code. And and should be working but it's all available on github and uh, all open source so if you find anything please let us know and if you if you just use it and test it also let us know thanks